last resort when you run out of bottled water. Early morning cardio session is done. Uh, now it's time for some breakfast. Okay, so breakfast number one on the go. Egg whites, almonds. Uh, because I've just done cardio, I won't immediately have carbohydrates. Carbohydrates uh, spike insulin levels, which essentially stops the process of fat burning. So immediately post cardio, the first thing I have is protein and fats. Then maybe in like 30 minutes, 60 minutes, then I'll go and have my bowl of porridge. Um, I'm also being joined this morning by a couple of guests. Hold on, let me show you. These guys have just decided that now this is their home too. So, by the way, today is an all-out work day. The family, we've shipped them off to, a, to an excursion on a Jeep safari. Um, and we are going to just hold up either here or down at a coffee shop somewhere and just get some solid work done today. So, might not make for amazing viewing on the vlog, but I might use the opportunity to actually talk a little bit more about nutrition or training or, I don't know, something like that. You know things are getting pretty serious when you have to weigh your almonds. Huh? Do what? Du, du, duvet? Can you sort out the duvet today? Don't act like you're deaf. <laughs> Porridge time. Bye. Bye. No, what I said was the keys are here. See that? <laughs> it's like a silhouette. <laughs> Ina's going to do her personal training session, as in take a client for personal training, not the other way around. You know what I mean. The guests are still here. Huh? Sorry about all this. By the way, it kind of looks a little bit gypsy the way that we've got literally something hanging and drying on every single uh, chair. But we don't actually have a clothesline out here. So chairs it is. Some serious work stuff going on here. This is the office for the day. Ina's back. Hey. Got some banging tunes on. I'm doing paperworky type stuff, which all looks very important, but I assure you it's not really. Ina's. I'm doing um, a little bit of Pinterest SEO for New Horizons. Social media, it's like her thing that she does constant, constantly, constantly. And 
Our resident uh, house guest is still very much here. Hey, Potato. So obviously with my competition getting closer and closer, cravings and things like that, are, they're, gonna, they're gonna get a little bit worse. So I've asked Ina very nicely to remove uh, any chocolate that she might have in the fridge. And this is the chocolate situation right now. This is what we have just removed from our fridge. So literally, and like this is this is no joke right here. This is this is serious stuff. Like that is all chocolate. You got the the Lindor chocolates. You got the I don't know what are they? The Perugina. I don't know, but they're nice. They're nice and. Rafa Raffaella. More, more stuff. Basically, a shit ton of chocolate in the fridge, which I have asked very nicely for her to remove so that I do not go into a mental binge. So I was literally just about to say... Oh, that's better. I was literally just about to say that I'm just waiting for Ina to get back so that we can go to the gym. And lo and behold, she's back. So now we're gonna to go to the gym. I'm gonna train chest and triceps. You're gonna train? Shoulders maybe. Shoulders maybe. And it's gonna be good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm highly caffeinated. I've been sitting here shaking, waiting for this gym session. So let's go. Gym session done. Uh, tonight I trained chest and triceps and it was a good session. This is really hurting my arm. I'm using like a proper tripod to, to hold this on, like it's like an actual proper tripod that I'm holding. So sorry if it's a little bit wobbly. Um, yeah, great session tonight. I uh, wanted to talk before I end the vlog a little bit about the training that I'm doing in preparation for this competition um, and the, the way that I'm training, the style in which I'm training. Um, just in case people were wondering. So currently I am following a program, as you may have seen in some of my earlier vlogs, uh, called Y3T. The principle of this training program is to train a different type of muscle fiber each week. So week one will be all fast twitch movements, so kind of low reps, high weight. Week two, intermediate, so you're looking kind of middle of the road kind of uh, weight and for about 15, 16 reps around that kind of figure there. And then week three is endurance. So then you're looking 30 plus up to 50 or more, 100 reps of things um, over the duration of the session. The reason for this is that your body will never adapt to a particular way of training. So it's not just doing your standard three sets of 10 four sets of six or however it is that you currently train. It's about constantly changing it and never allowing the body to reach that plateau, to reach that point where it's just like, oh yeah, I got this. So currently I am training on a three days on, one day off, two days on, one day off, on a constant rotation. Now when I say one day off, that day off I'm still doing cardio and I'm doing cardio on every single other day as well. So seven days a week cardio, five days a week training, weight training. Sorry, this is this is hurting my arm. Let me let me deal with this. I, I got it, I got it. Breeze. Putting the tripod down. Ah, that's much better. Um so yeah. Three days on, one day off, two days on, one day off. Day one, legs or quads and hamstrings. Day two, chest and triceps. Day three, back and biceps. Day four, rest day, just cardio. Day five, shoulders and calves. Day six, back to quads and hamstrings. And day seven, rest. It's as simple as that, and then it's just on that constant rotation. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm also, every single day, I'm doing a little bit of posing work, whereby I finish my workout, 
I come home, before I go into the shower, I run through my mandatory poses and just practice looking good, to be honest. That's what it comes down to. Um, a lot of people, I feel, put all the effort into the way they look uh, physically by building muscle, burning fat, etc, etc. And then when they step on stage, they don't know what the hell they are doing and they throw it all away. So every single day I'm doing some posing practice. Um, I'm sending videos constantly to Mikey for him to critique me because again, it is very, very important to step outside of yourself, put yourself out there in front of somebody and say, what do you think? Big shout out to Mr. Mikey Smith. Thank you very much for your help so far. We are now eight weeks away from competition and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, there hasn't been a lot going on today, lots of work, lots of training, lots of eating, um, but that's all I'm gonna do for today because I want to get these vlogs out there even if it's just got a little bit of information in there or a little bit about my day. Hopefully, someone watching this can take something away from it. That's why if I don't manage to put much content together throughout my day, maybe I'm just sitting at home working all day, I'm still gonna try and put something out there where I talk about my training, my diet, my progress, or anything that I think someone could potentially learn from or take something from. So that is literally it for today. I'm gonna to end the vlog there because it's getting late and I'm very, very hungry. So as always, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. If you would like to, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, if you've got any questions about my competition, about my business, about anything at all, please type them away in the comments section below. So, I will see you next time.